Colorado congressional candidate maced himself in the face in a campaign ad. Really one of the greatest ads ever. Whether you're going to vote for him or not, you must meet him. He joins us in just a moment. Pepper spray ought to be enough to stop a shooter. To prove it, he pepper sprayed himself. Watch. Trust me, this will stop anyone in their tracks. It's incredibly painful, and now I just can't see anything. Don't try that at home. It does raise at least one question. What else is this man willing to do to become a member of Congress? Levi Tillman joins us tonight. Levi, thanks a lot for coming on. People made fun of this. I didn't. I found it inspiring. People have a dream. They'll do anything to get it. I thought this showed a, a total commitment uh, to getting elected, and I, and I sincerely admired that. Would you shave your eyebrows to get elected to Congress? <laughs> well, Tucker, thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. And the truth is that the response has been huge to this video. And the only criticisms that we've gotten have come from two disconnected fantasy lands. On the far left, you have people who think if we stop selling guns, then the other 300 plus million guns that are already in the United States will somehow disappear. And on the far right, you have people who want to play cowboys and Indians in our schools and classrooms. And they imagine that every school shooter is a trained commando and that every teacher should be as well. This is a policy proposal that lives in reality and it's meant to solve a real problem okay. that Washington has. If you're going to get hold on, if you're going to get elected to Congress, and I think that's you've been today. <laughs> What, are you Tucker, that committed? I mean, you maced let's have, yourself let's have in a the real face. On no, no, no I, am, I, am, I am having a real I discussion. On, and I the topic on the is, show, look, I came on the show to talk with you about serious issues. Well, you know, one of the biggest issues you that maced had yourself had in is, the is face people, during that way. So, so wait, so no, no, no. I, this is a serious issue. People do not understand that ninety-five percent of school shootings happen at a range of less than eight feet, and so this is well in the range of tear gas. You maced yourself in the face. No, wait, hold on. You can't. I'm boy. You're almost. Congress just with the speech patterns. I'm, I'm impressed by that too. But Tucker, I'm what wouldn't you do? Is there anything that you wouldn't do to get this job? And I do think that commitment is Tucker, a lot of what is, voters are looking for. They don't want someone who's... Question. I came on here it's to totally discuss a policy how, we save how committed are how you? How we can discuss school safety. So let me tell you something else. The Department okay. of Homeland Security has three things that they no, suggest No, you just when they're staged confronted a reality a show Run, in your hide, <laughs> and fight. Okay. And this what is about... the last line of defense. If you well, are but, but required hold on. to fight, would you be willing would you be willing to tase yourself? And there is a gunman who is coming into Rubber that bullets. classroom, and then, then you're not you going to answer the question. I think you've qualified yourself for T Congress Tucker, already. Tucker, I'm Tucker, this close to voting I for you. You're like everybody else question. up there. You, Tucker, don't you be a dumb answer Tucker, the okay? questions. This is a serious policy issue, and we are going to discuss serious <laughs> policy questions. And I dramatize <laughs> this serious policy issue. Says the man who maced himself in the face. I love it. It is started. Serious man, Levi. Good luck. We have to go, unfortunately. Great to see you. Thanks a lot for doing that. Empower schools and teachers with non-lethal self-defense tools like this can of pepper spray. Pepper spray doesn't cost much, and it can be safely stored in a break glass in case of emergency cabinet, but it's powerful and won't accidentally kill a kid. Trust me, this will stop anyone in their tracks. It's incredibly painful, and now I just can't see anything. Wow, that's intense. For less than one dollar per person in the U.S., we can have a secured canister of pepper spray in every classroom in America. It's just unbearable. It's like lava in your eyes. I'll go to the map for our kids and community, not Washington Insiders and Corporations. I still can barely see anything. I just see white. I see white. I see the outline of the tree vaguely. Oh my god. Talk is cheap. Washington needs doers.